Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of, you know what it is, it is Grease. You guys have been watching this episode for like 17 or 18 episodes now, so you guys know what this is, so I should stop saying it. Anyways, I was debating last episode what I would do, um, and I just, as far as I can see, the cons I don't know what the consequences for breaking the truce is, I don't think I've ever actually done it. Is it like you gain infamy, or is it like you gain stuff? I We'll figure it out, but I think I'm finally just going to, I'm just going to do it. Because, honestly, it's, we, I think it's finally time for us to finally gain back all the land we need. And since most of the people are already here, crush the revolters, yeah, please do. Since we already got what we needed, we just need this last little bit. And then we basically have what we want. And honestly, I think it's time for us to finally gain what we need. And since... Yeah, I I'm done justifying it. That's what basically I'm, I'm meaning. I'm done justifying it. And we're going to win this pretty sim pretty quickly. So I will add more war goals. Cyprus, proceed. Okay, how do I get... Uh, hmm. How do I get the last core I need, though? Okay, let's get this, let's get that. Let's get all of this, and the more Ottomans are trying to come in again. It's not going to work this time, because they have pretty much an army, and you have no great European powers to help you out either. This time, I basically have the Ottomans. They ha I got the Ottomans down, got them with their pants down. They have no big allies to help them. So I, for once, actually do get a major advantage. Probably gonna put me in debt though, that's the only thing that really does stink, but I'm about to get a lot more land, so you know I can accept Gosh dang it, you guys! You know, maybe I should just grant you guys your freedom and just put you guys under a puppet regime. You guys are more problems than you're worth. That's okay, now I remember. Wow, that ended really quickly. Okay, so yeah. We got all of our land. Yes, we even got Cyprus. Yes, we got even more land now. We got the final bit, so if I was to declare war one more time, they are allied with the British. That kind of that kind of stinks. But what I'm hoping is that I'm hoping next turn we can basically finish off the. Uh, um, well, first off, let's finish off the fix whatever problems that may have arisen in this time. Seems like we mostly got everything dealt with. We're also building telecom markets. Wow. Maybe my capitalists were not that bad of people. Maybe they were. Maybe they weren't. But communism is now going to be stopped in my country now that I actually have a decent fleet. And oh, I'm going to go now go stop those rebellions in Tunisia. And I think I'm just going to make them a puppet state. I I've officially decided I'm just going to make them a puppet state. I've, I've given up on trying to manage that colony. It's way too much. It's like... It's almost like a full job managing that colony, so yeah, we're just gonna delete it. And yeah, now that we're finally done with that, does that mean I could finally declare war on them for one last time to claim? No, I could not. Hmm. Maybe there's a some some kind of special event I'm waiting for to fire, or let's see. Maybe I have to, uh, what I'm thinking is maybe I have to gain this region right here of the Ottoman Empire, and then maybe they will, like, hmm, I really don't know, I've never, this is like a really good experiment for me, because I would have thought that I would have been able to, like, take their capital by now, but maybe I need to completely encircle and, you know, surround it, just like you do in EU4, to, like, make it work. Let's gain prestige, first off. Uh, factories, regular clothes factory, let's see. Uh, hmm. Let's see, acceptable demand. Yeah, let's give acceptable minimum wage. Finally, people want acceptable minimum wage. I don't mind giving that to people. They want it, they want it. Oh, gosh. We finally gave people acceptable minimum wage. That took a long time, and we are... 4.39 million people. That's actually a good amount. Okay, you guys, go crush all the rebels. Seriously, yeah, go, like, go destroy them. Yeah, please go destroy all these rebels. Yeah, so, we're basically... 
we're just basically cruising now with the Ottoman Empire basically crushed in all its glory. Um, the only thing I wonder why is why we can't actually go get Istanbul. Is this like a special coding event or something that's really preventing it? Hmm. I'm almost thinking that we're going to need to like conquer this part right here and then maybe they'll let us do it. So at the very, oh my goodness, we just need like one or two more wars and then we're done. We're finally done with all this stupid warring. Like, oh my goodness, we're almost there. And then we can just basically go conquer as much of the Ottomans as we wanted. Plus some of the Egyptians, which would be nice. Which does put us in direct contrast to the uh, lovely British Empire. Okay, and did we conquer back all this? Okay, I'm giving you your free and sovereign states, alright? I'm done trying to manage. Seize the production again. I don't know why I keep doing this, but seize the production again of that land. And Tunis, you guys are released. Yes. Okay, I'm officially done. You guys can officially guard your own land. I'm going to go deal with my, my own problems in my own country. Because you guys seem to be a constant, constant, constant hassle to deal with. So, you guys can finally deal with your own problems. I'm about to, Holy moly, I have a lot of bad intrigue. Probably because I haven't paid back all my debts. Which, speaking of which, we should probably do here very soon. I'm going to get like the 72%, you know, taxes on them so that we can start paying that back. And, yeah. <sighs> Okay, we have to finish this off. We have to finish the Ottomans off because we don't have many opportunities to declare war on the Ottomans. For that matter, we don't have many opportunities to... Aww. I think Austria is about to crush down and destroy them. Okay, let's get an alliance with the Austrians in one second, guys. Okay, guys, back. So, basically what happened was is that, is that we had another family intervention. You know, I had to do, talk to my family, tell them I was recording, they got out. And now we're just waiting for stuff. And basically what happened was I got an alliance with the Austrian Empire. Austrian-Hungarian Empire, may I add. Which basically means I guess they went for a very, you know, uniformly known Austrian-Hungarian Empire. Which is rapidly becoming very much attacked and destroyed and all this kind of bad stuff. Sell high or sell low? Uh, probably should make the, the rich mad, just saying. Because I don't care about the rich that much, but these guys I do care about. Anyways, um, yeah. We got that, I basically got that alliance so that when I go to war with the uh, Ottomans again, and this Cyprus is ours, intervene immediately. When I go to war with the uh, people again, let me just like pay off some of it right now so that we can gain back some of our interest. It's just it's ours. Yeah. Seems like I have to kind of pay back this slowly and surely. Try not to let's 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 tax the rich a little bit. <laughs> rich are usually good at taxing. So let's tax the rich, but yeah, if we get these guys on our side, having I'm believing somebody just revolted against us. So let's see, where do they attack? Hostile and ASAB, of course. We're going to go send our army to go deal with that right now. Army away, truthfully is. Oh, dang, we got back to commence the book. Commend the book. I don't really, I don't really want to disallow meetings because that causes more problems than it's worth. All right, let's get the ships right here. Get our soldiers right there, and we're gonna go send him on another expedition to go save Ethiopia because Ethiopia is just a really reactionary colony. It really likes to fight back. Probably good too, because that's what, e that's what Ethiopia was really good at. They were actually the only African country able to actually resist the Europeans. Which is, you know, an interesting fact of the day, everyone. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We have more and more soldiers. A closed factory we can finally be open, which I'm going to do instantly. Because we need to keep building up. And I believe that building up is the key to building up a stronger economy and doing much more things. We crushed all the rebellions over here. And... France is still not recovered from its like massive uh, draw in terms of rebellions, but that's okay. We 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 can dig it. And for the Ottoman Empire, it says I can declare war, but it says not for what, which is really bad because we don't know what we would declare war on. But 
What I'm kind of hoping is that some kind of new revolutionary group will come up and destroy the Ottomans so that we can, you know, take advantage of their, their weakness so that we can, you know, do our own stuff. But the problem is, is that we, for some reason, we just, I don't know why, we just do not have a core on that province. Or on the core of, you know, gaining a province. Okay, we finally have enough money. Pay back all of our loans. There we go, we are debt free. Good job, everyone. And, uh, lower the rich payment first. And then we can start dealing with the poor. Okay, now that we got the rich out of the way. We got the moral upstanding right. Okay. Let's see, what do we need next? Let's get historical, or do we want... What do we want? Hmm. You know, actually increasing our factory line would be pretty, pretty good right about now. And, I guess, dang it, we went down in our terms of our literacy rate and everything, because we added all those new people to our mix. It just kind of does stink, but we're getting closer. Okay, we should, at the very least, I say in this campaign, we will form and become the Byzantine Empire. And if I can play my cards right, we could probably become a great power too. So, this campaign, I know some of you guys, I've heard that some of you guys were thinking this was kind of going to be a fail or a bust and we'd never be able to do it. Yeah, we'd be able to do it, it's just the matter of time it took. So, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to conquer this. Or, hmm. See, I wish, I kind of wish that there'd be an eternal crisis over here, right over here, so that we can, like, do stuff, and, gosh dang it, a lot of, uh, the Ottoman Empire really wants to free itself right now, which does stink, because I don't really want them to do that right now, I need them to kind of be really weak and really subvasive, so that when we go and attack them again, for the final, for the second to final time, because I think it's going to take, like, two more wars to finish them off, we're going to be able to conquer them. Conservative, whatever. And it seems like the Philippines have formed. Underneath the Spanish crown? No! A completely an independent! Wow. Now that usually does not happen. Huh. And now would there be any reason to attack these guys? Nope, I think it'd actually be pretty good just to keep them as it is, because I don't think there's really any reason to go attack them. So, yeah. Good job for you, Philippines. You guys freed yourself from the Spanish crown. Okay, and we're just casually sitting... Oh my goodness, I just realized I have an alliance with... Wait, no one backed us in the crisis, right? No one's backing anyone, right? This... Yes! Okay, good. No one even bothered to do the crisis, but I just realized I have an alliance with three of the greatest powers in the world. France, Austria, and Russia. That's actually pretty good for my for my for my kind of status right now. And it seems like we can build a more of a bigger army, so let's do that. Um Let's build like let's try to build a new little tiny army in here. Two, three. Let's get that back. Let's get that. And then let's build like one. Let's build like one Tur Turkish Hussy. All right, there we go. Let's continue. So yeah, we have rapidly interiorated. And when can we attack the Ottomans again? When is the the least due date? Can we attack them? Hmm. Then we have to show wars. Uh, 1814, 1814. Okay, so it's basically 1814, and we can't attack them. So, we're going to have to hope and pray that there's going to be no international war between that. Well, if there is an international war, it will not affect anything we do. Because we're going to try to defeat the Ottomans, finally. The final bit, big push to finally form the Byzantine Empire, which really will be nice, because then we finally get, like, good grasp of land, and good grasp of good Casabellas. Ah. <sighs> And then, we can all die. <laughs> as soon as we accomplish our goals, we can all just die. No, 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 I'm just joking, people. We're just going to relax the Battle of Kalalis, whatever that was. Probably just, uh, yeah, it seems like, it seems like some revolutionaries tried to get into my land. I'm just like, Psh, nah, doesn't work like that. 
Does look like the uh, Ottomans are building up, which I don't like. But I do have like a couple of Russian troops stranded in my land, so it'd be pretty helpful if I really needed them. Mm. Okay, and we're just yeah, we're just casually sitting here. I don't think I really have anything to do. I mean, there has been a suggestion that I could go attack Korea, but. Again, as I said, I don't see particularly the reason why I'd really want to. Or what it could offer me in the long run. I mean, there's really not much it could offer. Let me rephrase that. There's really not much it could offer me. Except more land I have to protect. Which, it might give me some taxes, but I just don't... It, it doesn't seem worth it in the long run. Mm. And apparently one of my factories finally gained enough to... Stop building. Which is weird. Okay, let's see. Uh, there we go, Attila. Wow, Atria. No, it's not Atria. It's this one. Oh, it's this one. Wow. You actually gained enough to actually support yourself with the second factory. Cool. I'll even build a automotive plant here. <laughs> we'll see how that. We'll see how an automotive plant does in my country. The Germans will build. Not the Germans. So <laughs> the Greeks will build a mighty. Uh, build the mighty, uh, uh, oh gosh, what's a good car name? Uh, Volkswagen! We will build it and we will be powerful and everyone will adore us. Yeah. Okay, and let's build some in the international railroads. I think, I think I've neglected these. That technology a little bit too much. The, yeah, elections, whatever. I'm just gonna revert back to my favorite party anyways, so. Doesn't really matter whatever one chooses. I mean, I give them. This is, this is. I guess this is kind of true. I give them the illusion of free will, but in reality, they really don't have any free will. I will always guide them to the way I want to be directed, and that is the way this game should be played. All right, Belgium. Still can't believe Belgium colonized so much of Africa, and then became this. That is hilarious. Uh, oh gosh, I just realized there's like a massive hole. One of my sock. Like, I didn't feel it before. I didn't feel it before, but now I can see it. It's kind of big. Wow. Colombia! Wow, you guys are actually pretty decent in establishing, you know, a decent sized stuff. Glorious to the Empire, we won the medals. Yeah. Yeah, but Colombia is actually doing pretty good right now. It's pretty cool. Uh, my infrastructure is finally going to be upgraded, though. This took a long time to get to. Ah. Uh, because, honestly, I had lots of stuff to do. So I finally have something to spend my money on. Which means we could finally have some reasons to have industrial steel. And have a good railway in the process. We have more communists coming up. The communism is really trying to make a surgeons in my country. But I have enough of an army to crush every single one of their, their main stakes. Okay. Let's get on to the mainland. No, I can't get on the mainland. Let's just get you guys all the way over here. It seems like a lot of my troops actually spawned in weird places, so I'm gonna have to go pick them up. Let's just go put our transport fleet right in the middle of the Greek of the Algerian islands. Uh, no, outlaw. I'm outlawing them as much as possible because I know as soon as they get their foot into my country, they will never leave. And we could ride out with Greco Adolf. Which, I wonder, wonder what that would be, actually. Greco Adolf. Hmm. Anyways, yeah, just get all troops right here. How many troops did die? So I have to build, so I know how much I have to build up a new army. Let's see, Sergei, whatever. Do, 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 ignore the matter. Do, okay, you guys get on here. Alright. Almost, almost ready for our next attack. Almost ready. We still have just a little bit longer to wait, but we're almost there. Let's get this all down, cut down the size. Boom. Get all soldiers in. That's about as much as the army I wanted it, wanted it to be. And we got a little bit of rebel problem in one of our islands. In fact, I'm going to use this army to go deal with it. Do Okay. You guys go right here. Go to the Algerian Islands. Crush that army. And we're going to see them all burn. There we go. Go get that little army right there. There we go. Go put our soldiers back on the little islands. And yeah, we're doing, yeah, we're just doing pretty good. 
We're finally just relaxing. Not really anything. I'm apparently paying the Bank of France. Let's stop that now so that we don't have to deal with that. And yeah, now we're just casually waiting for the final bit of the push for... We're finally getting to the final push between us and the Ottomans. That's basically what we're waiting for. Oh gosh, I really want to attack them. <laughs> I just have an urge to attack them, but... Anyways guys, this has been an episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.